why and how did the federal government minister finally come to this decision after years after our key allies had already come to it? Well, first of all, thank you for inviting me. Uh, le let me say, uh, as you said, what we said tonight is our intention to exclude Huawei and ZTE from our 5G networks in Canada. Uh, I would say to you, Evan, this has never been a race. This is about making the right decision uh, in the interest of Canada in consultation with our national security agency. Our process is now completed, and that's why we're announcing today our intention to exclude them from our 5G networks. And that's a very consequential decision not only for now, because they'll be enabling legislation, so we can add to that because we want to protect our network for generations to come. Our, I just want this on the record. With this ban, your government is confirming that both Huawei and ZTE, or ZTE, are security risks, and these companies can be used for espionage by the Chinese government. That is what you're confirming tonight. Well, what I'm uh, saying tonight is that we intend uh, to exclude them uh, from our 5G networks uh, because we think that's the right decision uh, to protect our national security, to protect the integrity of a network, and also to make sure that our infrastructure, our telecom infrastructure, which is one of the right. most critical infrastructure in a digital age, uh, will be protected and resilient for generations to come. That's what we're doing today. This is a decision about I Canada, understand. a decision... Go ahead, sir. No, I appreciate that. I, I, I just want uh, Canadians to understand, Minister, if, if, if you can. You're, it's, you're protecting Huawei from being part of 5G and ZTE. I understand that. It's a security risk, but let's just flesh that out. It's a security risk because, the, the, I guess, CSIS and, and the government believes that these companies can be used to compromise Canadian security and used for espionage purposes by the Chinese government. That is the message we're getting. Is that fair to say? And that, is that what you're saying? Well, that's your analysis. What I would say is that we went a process with our security agencies uh, in consultation with our allies. And I would say uh, what we're announcing that is very much in line uh, with what the United States has been doing, what uh, the United Kingdom has been doing, Australia, a number of allies around the world. This is really about the integrity. This is about Canada. Uh, this is about having a process in place which will allow us to add also company. That's what I'm saying to you. This is not just about today, but this is about protecting the integrity of our telecom infrastructure for, for years to come. We know it's going to evolve from 5G to 6G, the Internet of Things. There's vulnerability because there are multiple connection points. So what we're saying today is that we intend to exclude these two companies from our network, but we also right. have enabling legislation to add companies to that to make sure we are resilient and we protect one of our most critical infrastructure in our country. Right. I, I understand that, but, but the, it, I just want, you seem to be not saying what you, it, if it's a security risk, what was the security risk? Was, has Huawei in the past, or has ZTE, been used as a front for spying? Has it been used for espionage purposes? Has it been used to uh, grab illegal information from Canadians? Was there a plan to do it? What is the security risk that is so important that we have to ban Huawei? They, by the way, the U.S. is very open about it. They say it's an arm of the Chinese government used for espionage purposes. They, 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 so what is the security risk? I'm just trying to make sure we can speak No, I appreciate, I appreciate your question, and I'm sure the viewers would understand that we went through a process with our national security agencies. We took their findings, and that has informed our decision. Uh, what I'm saying to you tonight is that there's a distinction when you come to 5Gs because you're connecting from multiple points, and you want to avoid any vulnerability in our system because that's one of the most critical infrastructures. So we took the advice, as you said, from our national security agencies, which have been consulting uh, with allies around the world. That has informed uh, our decision, and that's why today, this is the end of our process. That's why we can announce. And I think Canadians should feel good about that because that is about ensuring that those who will be participating in the 5G network in Canada uh, will be company that, that uh, we have vetted in a way that right. we know that won't pose any national security risk uh, to our network, not only right. now, but for the future. Okay, uh, j just real quick, um, are, is your government prepared for Chinese retaliation? Well, I would say this is about Canada. This is about our national security, and this is about our national infrastructure. So this decision is taken in the interest of Canada, of Canadians, and our national security. And I'm sure that the viewers understand that uh, 
Uh, that's our duty. Our solemn duty is to protect Canadians, to protect our infrastructure, right. and to protect our telecom uh, industry and, our, uh, and its network across the country. That's what we're doing with the decision of today. Okay, but again, I just, I'll ask you, if, if, do you expect a retaliation? You know in the U.S., Donald Trump put them on the entity list, which prevents uh, Huawei from doing business with any company there. But Huawei can still do business in Canada, that's right, but just not on 5G. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the, exactly what you said. And in a way, when you're talking about national security, Evan, uh, you want to understand that when you're looking at our national security, you take, nas you know, you take Canadian interests first. That has guided our process all along. So we take a decision which is uh, very much in favor of protecting our national security. That was the frame. Now, we took that decision, and like you said, what we said is that uh, these two companies will be excluded uh, from the 5G network. And, or we intend to do that. That's, that's the decision that we uh, have, have come uh, today, and that's what we've been announcing. Okay, um, oh, okay, I really appreciate it. I'm about to get a statement from Huawei, by the way, but I don't have it yet, but they say they're gonna send one out. Um, and I appreciate your time. I know you've got to go. It's a busy day, but you've jumped from that press conference for us. Uh, uh, Minister Francois-Philippe Champagne, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, and you were the first. So I came to you first. So good evening to your viewers. Always a pleasure to, to be with you, Evan.